Hey guys, welcome back to another interesting topic. Today's topic is on sequence detector on the sequence 11011 using melee overlap and non-overlap machine. So before we go into the topic, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on. And if you have any doubts, comment down below. I'll respond within 24 hours. Before going to the sequence detector, let us understand the terms overlap and non-overlap by using the input sequence as shown. So from this input sequence, we need to find the pattern 11011. So we have two types that is we can find it using overlap and non-overlap. First we will see the overlap output and then we will go with non-overlap. So now let us find the pattern 11011 in this input sequence for the overlap case. So first bit doesn't use the output we require and the second bit does not use the output we require third bit does not use the output we require similarly with the fourth but at the fifth bit we got our pattern so our output will be one okay at the fifth bit we are getting our output one so now since it's an overlap case we will start looking from the second bit that is our pattern being able to form from the second bit onwards is our pattern a being able to form from this bit to this bit? No. And this bit to this bit? No. But from this bit to this bit, we are able to form another pattern. Okay, that is 11011 again over here. So our output will be 0 because we cannot form from here to here and not from here to here. But from here to here, we are able to form the pattern we require. So it will be 1. So we will look the, at the output once again in a similar manner from here to here not possible from here to here not possible but from here to here is it possible so our output will be one after two zeros so as you can see it is overlapping the first pattern we are getting over here and the second pattern we are getting over here and third pattern we are getting over here let me erase the middle one so these two bits are being shared by two sequences this bit and this bits are also shared. That means they are overlapped with each other. So they are overlapped. So now let us look for the non-overlap part. Non-overlap is straightforward. We cannot overlap. So the first bit output is zero. Second bit output is zero. Third bit output is zero. Fourth bit output is zero. But at fifth bit, we got our pattern. So the output will be one. We cannot use the previous bit. So we need to continue from the new bit onwards. We cannot go back and come forward to check the pattern. It's not, it's not there non-overlapping. So we are going from this bit. So it, is it possible? No, it is not possible. So the output will be zero from this bit. Yep, it is possible, but we'll get the output at over here. So remaining bits are zero. I hope you're getting this. So that was overlap and non-overlap terms. I hope you have understood because this is most important. If you don't understand, just rewatch it because if you don't understand this, you cannot go ahead in the sequence detector. So now let us go for the melee machine. So melee machine is a state machine where the output is a function of input as well as the current state. So now let us draw the sequence detector for 11011. So to detect the sequence 11 zero one one we have five bits in one one zero one one so for five bits we require five states understand this in melee machine we require five states so the state naming is so crucial for the sequence detector state machine i want you to concentrate on how the state namings will be done so let us see how the state namings will be done so state namings are important so the first state would be idle it's an initial state where we start our sequence detection so after the ideal the one more important state would be this first bit of our sequence so understand the first bit of our sequence is s1 so we will get s1 as our state and the next bit would be combine these two and write the state that would be s11 okay and the next bit would be adding zero. So we will have a new state as one, one, zero. Okay, don't write A, B, C, D. The state naming is so important. So this is the trick which will be helping you to solve it easily. 
for any state machine and for the fourth bit we need to have one more state as 11011 since it's a melee machine we will get one less state okay so these are my state namings this is the important part so if you write for another sequence let's say 101 so for 101 the states will be the first part the initial state where we need to start from that is idle and then the first bit that is s1 and next that is the second bit s10 okay this states would be sufficient for the detection of the sequence 101 so now let us draw the state machine for 11011 so the sequence detector will detect the sequence 11011 from the input sequence and we are drawing the state machine using melee and that is overlap understand it is an overlap so our output will look like this as I have shown previously don't forget this overlap is important okay now let's go with the state machines as I've said with the namings since we have five bits we require five states so the first state is ideal so if we get the input as one we will go to the next state so the next state will be the state having a one bit so we are going to the state s1 when we get one as the input and our output will remain zero so now from s1 we will go to the next state that is with the two bits s11 so we are moving from s1 to s11 state when we get one more one from the sequence so from s11 that is we have detected first two ones of the pattern so we need to go for zero if we get zero we will move to the state s110 so we are going from s11 to s110 when we get a zero and our output is still zero now we will go to s110 to s1101 when we get one more one so we got one more one over here and we have moved from s1102 to s1101 so now we got almost our sequence if we get one what happens understand this if we get a one we complete our pattern detection but since it's an overlap we can start restart our pattern can we restart the pattern from this bit no it is not possible because the second bit is zero okay so can we restart from this bit no we cannot restart because the first bit is zero we need one okay now can we restart from this bit yep we have chances if we get the next bit as zero that means we can detect another pattern yep so from this s1101 I'll be moving to the state where we have two ones that is s11 so when we get an input one then output will be one because I, we have detected our pattern 11011 and since it's an overlap we can restart from the last two bits so we are going to s11 so that is our detection completed we need to complete this state machine so let's do it so at idle if you get zero as input what will happen you cannot go anywhere else so we'll stay in the idle so idle will be having this arrow and the input is zero output will be zero if s11 so if in s11 if we get zero what will happen we cannot go ahead in our pattern detection so we need to go back to idle so from s1 we went back to idle when we get zero at s1 state so at s11 what happens if we get a 1 so if we get a 1 we can restart the pattern from there itself and because we have already one and we got new one so that will be two ones which is required for our pattern so we will stay at the same state when we get one so now what happens if we get a 0 over here if we get a 0 we need to go back to idle and what happens if we get a 0 since we got a zero the pattern cannot be detected so we need to go back to idle so this is the state machine which is for 11011 using melee overlap 
So from this stage machine, we will draw the transition table. After drawing the transition table, we will perform the K-map for the required output and draw our circuit. So now let us look at the transition table. So this is the transition table and I have represented over here the symbol that is the present state and the next state. And if whatever the inputs we are giving, what will happen to the state. So if you are in idle state, if you get a zero, we will remain in an idle state. And if you are in idle state, if you get one, we are going to S1. And if you are in S1, if you get one, we are going to S11. And if you are in S11, if we get zero, we are going to S110. And if you are in S110, if you are getting one, then we are changing the state to S1101. And if you are in S1101, we are getting one as input, then we'll go to S11. It is, since it's an overlap, that's the reason we are going to S11 and our output is one at this point. So this is the transition table for the state machine that we have drawn right now. So for this transition table, we will perform the K-map and get the logic for Y2+, plus, Y1+, plus, Y0+, plus, and Z. I have already performed them. And here D0 is for Y0 plus, D1 is for Y1 plus, and D2 is for Y2 plus. And Z is the output. So after getting the outputs, you can draw the circuit diagram if you want. So here we have taken three D2, D1, and D0 flip-flops. And then after I've taken some logic gates and perform this operation. Uh, I have not shown entire connections because it will be quite messy. Okay, not the messy with number 10. Okay, now let us go with the melee non-overlap. So melee non-overlap means that we are not overlapping the previous bits with the incoming bits. So the output is as shown. I hope you remember this example, which I have discussed because if you don't remember, please rewatch it. So now let us go for the state machine. So the first state for any sequence detector will be idle. So this is the idle state to go into another state we require input. So if we get a one as input, then we can go to another state that is S1. So from S1, if we get an input as one, then we go to another state that is S11. So from S11, if we get the input zero, then we go to another state S110. So from S110, if we get one, that is our pattern then we go to another state okay this looks exactly similar to the melee overlap okay the difference will come over here just watch so the difference from melee overlap and non overlap is that we cannot overlap over here there we can overlap so since we are able to overlap over there we will be going to the previous state that is from 1 1 we can use the previous bits over here and get the pattern once more but here it is not allowed not allowed not allowed so we will be going back to idle even if we get one over here since we got our pattern our output will be high so this is the sequence detector using melee non overlap for 1 1 0 1 1 so now let us finish our remaining job that is the other inputs what if we get a zero over here so if we get zero at idle then we will remain at the idle state so what if we get zero at s1 state we need to go back to idle so if we get uh, one at s11 okay if we get one at s11 that means we can still stay at this state okay so now if we get zero at one one zero one state then we'll go back to idle similarly at the last state if we get a zero then we go back to idle so there you go we have detected our pattern using the state machine and there is the state machine for melee non overlap so there you go you have melee overlap and non overlap sequence detector for one one zero one one okay so there will be a small doubt for you in melee non overlap at S11 state. So if that doubt comes for you, comment down below, I'll respond it and give you more clarification after you get the doubt. So if you like this video, 
please do hit that like button and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and thanks for watching hope you have a great day and great health and thanks for watching I'm grateful for every single one of you watching hope thank you and goodbye